April 28th, Second Sunday of Easter A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst, and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and bring your hand, and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord I will not believe. Thomas called Didymus is known as the Doubting Thomas because he declares, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Thomas had difficulty in believing. He may be suspicious of the claims of his fellow apostles who are still mourning, but are now confounded by the resurrection appearance of Jesus. In this difficulty, Jesus appears a second time for Thomas's sake. He goes immediately to Thomas and shows him his hands and side and exhorts him stop unbelieving. With all humility and affection, Thomas exclaims, My Lord and my God. Now Thomas is ready for mission. Jesus declares, that those who have come to believe even without seeing or touching him are blessed. The first reading says that many signs and wonders happen through the hands of the apostles, Thomas included. Because of this, more and more become believers. Jesus would refer to them as blessed. In the second reading, John writes that he is imprisoned because he has been proclaiming God's word and bearing witness to Jesus. He lives in an era when to believe in Jesus is regarded a crime. Are we disposed to believe in Jesus, meaning to commit ourselves to Him?